I'm Tom Grassi, a New York City comedian and diehard Green Bay Packers fan for almost 20 years. In 2015, I created a podcast where each week I talk to fans from opposing teams to share their story and to get yelled at for about an hour for being a Packers fan. Last year, I met amazing people and went to amazing places. And this year, I'm ready to do it all over again. Make no mistake about it, I will be remembered as a Packer. Enjoy the show. Grassy Posse Packer Nation, thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Packcast. I am your host, Tom Grassi, and this is the podcast where you don't need to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help, especially we're on a win streak. What? Two games? And I cannot be happier about that. The Packers defeated the Houston Texans 21-13 to in a snowy game in Lambeau Field. And this was a game that the, uh, the Packers, I thought they were going to get out early. They had a, a fumble on, on the two-yard line. But for the most part, I think you have to be pretty happy with the way that the Packers played. Could the offense have gotten off to a faster start? Yes. Could the defense have given up less third-down runs or third-down big plays? Yes. But overall, the Packers had the majority of the control for the game. Uh, they they really they kind of controlled the tempo, even though it was a seven seven game for for quite some time. But the the fourth quarter drive where they just held onto the ball and scored from their own two yard line was was big. So with that being said, I, I was I was pretty happy with the win. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, 20 for 30, 209, uh, two TDs. He only threw 30 passes, which is significantly less than what he's been throwing, especially because it was up there uh, in the high 30s and even in the 40s for a couple of weeks there. Obviously, his injury that he sustained last week against the Eagles is bothering him a bit. Uh, so it is with his hip. It seems like he's just pulled something. And you could see it in the way that he was playing, that he was very hesitant when he was running. He There were some running lanes that he had, and he wasn't taking them. And you know sometimes he was limping on the field. But considering the field conditions and people were literally sliding across the field, um, I'm just happy he he played it safe, uh, was able to get the win. And and he came out and said that he didn't do anything to re-aggravate the injury, which is always a good thing because we are going to need Aaron Rodgers uh, for the next couple of games. Uh, and of course, we have the, the, the Detroit Lions. They they couldn't just lose, and they they won a big game. I mean, kudos to them. They won a big game away at the Saints, and so that's uh, that's that's big. So we're still two games behind uh, the Detroit Lions, and I mean it's 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 difficult to to kind of foresee what's going to happen. It it seems like the the Packers are definitely going to need to run the table. Uh, And if they don't, they have to, you know, so say they lose next week to the Seahawks. uh, We're going to have to definitely win those last three games. And the Lions are are going to have to lose some as well. So the Lions need to lose at least one game in the next, uh, and we need to win all of them for even us to have a, a chance. So, we need the Lions to lose, so everyone who's playing the Lions, if you could uh, kind of help us out there, that'd be much appreciated. Um, of course, Jordan Nelson had big day, 8 for 118. Uh, he had a touchdown as well. Uh, Randall Cobb, 3 for 19. He had the other TD. Rip, good old Rip getting his second touchdown of the season, so we finally are getting, again, more people that are not Aaron Rodgers scoring touchdowns. And Devontae Adams with one of his uh, very few quiet games, only one for 17, and it seemed like for a, he was going to break it off for a big one and he barely stepped out of bounds on that play. So uh, a pretty significant play. But again, uh, pretty happy with the way the offense was playing. The defense, uh, they they got to Osweiler. They made him uncomfortable. But again, those third downs, they let so many drives get sustained. But I do have to give them credit because they made some stops on fourth down as well, which was which was good to see. And I think that, that our front seven it definitely kept their running game in check the entire time. And... It was just an idea of that secondary just needs to get healthy and and continue. Um, Sam Shields, there's rumors going around that he's definitely going to be retiring in the offseason. I, again, would not be surprised. And I'm, and I'm 
I'm happy for him because while he's an amazing player in that he needs to do it for his health, he needs to get out while he's healthy and not sustain something um, that could make, that could shorten his life in any way, shape, or form. So if that is wind up being the case, uh, Sam, you are a fantastic player, and, and I wish you nothing but the absolute best. But again, we won't jump the gun just yet. Um, taking a look at our ability to run the table. I mean, like this, this next game against Seattle, I think everybody, when the schedule came out, had this one circled and, you know, and then the then Seahawks lost two weeks ago to the Buccaneers. I was like, Oh, you're saying we have a chance. And then they won 40 to seven against the Panthers on Sunday night. And that was a scary looking team. Thomas Rawls went off. And so, it's going to be very interesting. I know the, Se- the Seahawks do not have the greatest offensive line, and so they're going to match up uh, with our or our front seven, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just kind of worried about our secondary and seeing if we can hold them. And, of course, it's always going to be good to see Rodgers go against Sherman. And see, we, that that's going to be a game where we are going to need to score early and often. And I don't know what the weather is going to be like for next Sunday, but hopefully it's uh, cold and blustery. And if the Packers can come away with a win – Next week, I feel much better about our chances going forward because if I'm not mistaken, the Lions are playing the Giants and the Cowboys at some point. And so if they can lose both of those games, that would be huge. And the Vikings, not completely out of it, but I mean, they're not really being talked about right now. And I'm not 100% sure why. I mean, like, listen, they, they've dropped a bunch of games and they are nowhere near where they were at the beginning of the season. And I know that we talked for the first five weeks that they were unstoppable and they were going to be amazing this entire season, but they've started to collapse. I think everyone's waiting for the Lions to do that, but don't fall asleep on the Lions because the Lions have looked really good. And them winning on the road against Drew Brees is, is nothing to laugh at. So, again... I would be very upset if the Packers don't make the playoffs, obviously. But if there's anybody else that has to win the division, as long as it's not the Vikings, I'm good. I'm good with that. Like, the Lions who win, I'd be like, I'm not happy, but I can live with it. Uh, just anybody, anybody with the Vikings. I, and I'm sure many of uh, Packer fans feel the same way. Uh, also, Shum, we haven't talked about him in quite some time, and I think that's a good thing. He's been punting very, very well, and, and I don't think there's anything really to complain about when it comes to Shum, I know in the beginning of the year, we were kind of on him about how terrible he really was and called for Mass Day back, but that isn't the case, and it seemed like it was a good move to get Shum in there. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this week. I'm looking forward to talking to a Seattle fan. It's always interesting. Talk, I talked to one last year, and it's always interesting because the Seattle game in 2014 is the reason this show exists because of (laughs) that tragic gut wrenching loss. I created this show. So it's always interesting to talk to them. I am not a fan of Seahawks. The Seahawks. I don't, I don't like Pete Carroll. I like Russell Wilson. I don't like Pete Carroll. Um, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It might be a heated episode. So tune into that on Thursday. It'll be on SoundCloud, Google Music and also on iTunes of course as usual. Um also in uh in some fantasy news. I know I haven't brought in fantasy up. It's been I I'm, I'm running I'm five leagues. I'm in five leagues this year and it's it's been difficult. There is potential with the way that the tiebreakers fall that I don't make it into a single playoff, which would be just terrible. Just like statistically, I should be making at least one of them. But I know I'm definitely out in two, and then there's three of them that are up in the air. Uh, So not good. Not very good at all. But we'll see what happens, and I'll keep you posted on that. And finally, uh, I don't know if you you tuned in last week, but on the Packers subreddit, I've done this now twice, is I've kind of exhausted all of my lucky jerseys this season, except for one. And for two weeks ago for the Eagles game, I brought out the big guns, and I put a jersey on my dog. So uh, we, my, my wife got me a, a dog jersey last week. I put it on her. They won. So I said, okay, let's do it again. Put it on her again. They won. So I don't want to say that the only reason the Packers are winning is because my dog is wearing a sports jersey. But I think my dog might be magic. We do, Listen, listen. We've been talking about superstition. We talk about it every single episode. If I want to believe that my dog has any influence on the way the Green Bay Packers play, and they keep winning because I keep putting that jersey on my dog, you better best believe I'm going to continue to do that. So uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll, those pictures will be up there. Um, you could always find me at TomGrassiComedy.com. That's T-O-M-G-R-O-S-S-I Comedy or at Tom Grassi Comedy on Twitter. Uh, PackCast, P-A-C-K-A-S-T, is on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Music Play, and, of course, every Tuesday we're here on a YouTube episode 
Uh, Thursday is going to be a big episode with a Seahawks fan, so tune into that. It should be really important. What do you think about the Packers' chances of running the table? Do you think it all comes down to next week? And then we got three divisional games. The The end of the season is, draw, is, is coming. It, it's coming near. Winter is now here now that there's been snow in Lambeau Field. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi, and as always, Go Pack Go!